good morning welcome to the channel today i'm going to be planting out some garlic um last year was a little bit well a bit of a mixed bag really i had some success when i harvested the first lot of garlic it was all very nice and good size and everything the other garlic um succumbed to white rot in the end um i think the weather conditions got a bit too much for it in the end and uh, most of it rotted away so um oh and i did have some garlic which i planted in a pot which did the best out of all of them. So today, because of, well, of last year I had um, a mixed bag of success, this year I've decided to do, well, plant the garlic for three different ways. So I'll just spin you around and I'll explain what I'm going to do in this bed just here. Okay, so I've decided to grow the garlic this year in this bed, which previously was growing beans and peas in. Uh, so that's good for the soil, fixing nitrogen in there for the uh, green foliage of the garlic to grow. But uh, before that, there was lots of raspberries here, and they were here for years, really. So no onions or any other alliums have grown in this patch of soil for quite a while. So I'm hoping, because of that, there won't be no onion white rot in this bit here. But it's, uh, you know, I, I will <laughs> that's why I'm doing it three different ways, because I'm not 100% sure. But uh, what I intend to do is, although I'm no dig, all the videos I watch about people planting garlic, they always say, oh, you've got to dig your soil and add compost, get good drainage, you know. So I've, I've not really done that the last couple of years because I'm no dig. Um, but I'm going to do a little bit of it this year. I'm just going to take a little third of this bed here and just fork it over. Uh, only about half a fork's depth, really. And I'm going to incorporate... Um, you know, one of these bits of compost to it. It's about 25 litres in there when I fill it up. So what I'll do is for a third of the bed, I'm going to add, you know, maybe two of those to each third. So six in total. That's if I've got enough compost. Uh, so it's all equal amounts of compost and stuff. I will also sprinkle some blood fish and bone over it equally as well before I even start digging it or doing the other two methods. So in this middle section here I'll probably use a little ball planter and uh, got a little mini one here which is quite handy I've got also got a bigger one but I've never really used this one yet it's uh if you've grown anything in toilet roll tubes this one's perfect to get because it's exactly the right size perfect for the tube and it's Kenton Stowe and I saw Bill and Val um, using these a couple of years ago and Michael's plot so yeah when, when they were using them, it looked really handy. And because I'm no dig, minimal soil disturbance. So I'll be using this in the middle for a little section of the garlic. And when I've taken out a core, I will be filling the core full of compost as well. Uh, and on this last section over here, I'm just going to be dibbing the holes with a little dibber and putting the garlic in with no compost and stuff. So we dibbed garlic with a no compost, well just the compost on top, cored garlic <laughs> with um, a little bit of compost in the holes and I'm hoping that's just going to help with the drainage and um, also because this soil gets rock hard in the summer when it dries out, if I've got a little core already taken out filled with compost then that should allow the garlic to grow into that space a little bit more easier than if it's restricted by the hard soil all around it. Uh, yeah, I mean on this bit it would be, like I say, traditionally dug with a bit of compost and uh, the garlic balls put in a couple of inches below the surface. So I'm hoping to get the garlic all relatively about the same depth. But right, yeah, so I've got about 40 of the soft neck and about 50 of the um, hard neck to go in. Oh sorry, one other thing actually, because I did have success last year growing six garlic in this container here, um, this will be the bonus fourth way of doing it. Uh, I've added a little bit of leaf mould to that under there as well. Not a lot, just a little sieving's worth. Uh, that's just to give it some more minerals. Um, I haven't put any blood fish and bone in there, but I might just give it a little handful as well, actually. Right, so I've just emptied 25 litres of compost onto this bit of soil here. So this is going to be the bed, which is going to have the compost dug in or well, say bed part of the bed 
And 25 litres has covered that quite well. So I think I'm going to get away with only using 75 litres of homemade compost, which is good. Right. I don't know what I'm getting it all nice and neat for, because I'm going to dig it in. <laughs> right, bring you back when I've done this. Okay, so that's the uh, bag just to go over a little bit. Just give you a little look. Yeah, so I've only gone down, you know, like I say, half a fork's depth, depth just to incorporate the compost into the soil there. And, uh, yeah, it's lifted it up quite nicely. Help, hopefully help with the drainage and everything. Uh, it's homemade compost, so there's quite a few worms and stuff in it. Uh, it should be good. One thing I didn't actually do is put the blood fish and bone down. So I might just do that now before I forget. And then I'll be doing the holes here and the dipped holes over there. And then I'll, whatever's left over, well, I'll get about probably eight in there this year. I'll put six in there, but uh, probably got room for eight, I think. But we'll see how much we've got left after I've done uh, the holes for this. Probably going to get four rows in here, two rows of each, about 18 in each row, I should imagine. But uh, I'll find that out in a minute. Right, get the uh, blood fishing bone on here then. Yeah, so one unforeseen um, difficulty was because my soil was quite hard still. Uh, this ball plant again is cogged up within the first couple of goes and uh, it's virtually impossible then to get the solid soil out um, and carry on making holes with it. So I'm probably just going to dip some holes instead, try and make them big enough and put some compost in them. Okay, so that's the bed prepared. A bit slightly different than what I planned originally. But I've uh, dipped these holes in the middle here a bit bigger than them holes there because I want to get a little bit of compost in the bottom of these holes here. Not a lot, just to help with uh, the drainage and that. But uh, hopefully them holes there will be quite good for garlic to grow out into. Um, so what I'll do now is I'm going to put the garlic in all the holes, two rows of hard neck, two rows of soft neck, and then I'll be putting uh, some compost over this bit and some compost over that bit uh, and then I'll see what I've got to put in there really. I might stick a few more than eight in. I don't want to overcrowd it too much. But uh, yeah, start popping the garlic in then. So I've got my bag of soft neck garlic uh, and it's the flavour variety which is quite nice and it's stored really well. One mistake I did make though is I did hang them up in my airing cupboard and the hard neck started to uh, go soft already. So don't, don't put them in your airing cupboard. So they're not massive, these soft neck bulbs, but um, we'll give them a go. So I'll do these little ones here first. Just down in there. And obviously you get your basal plate at the bottom, that's where the roots come out from, and the pointy bit at the top. So yeah, just two in each one. I'm sorry, one in each one, but two rows. And they're going to go, you know, going down a couple of inches. Get them in there nice and snug. So the compost I'm using is homemade compost. Uh, and this was rough compost, what was sieved into this Dalek about two months ago, just so it can mature here. Um, there's a pea seed growing in it, just over there. But uh, yeah, this is a look at it, and uh, it's pretty good stuff. There's still a few little tiny little twigs and bits and pieces in it and, and that. But there's quite a few worms in it, and life, and that's the main thing. So that should be pretty good. So all I'm going to do... It's just pop, you know, just a little bit in each of these holes. And I'll push the garlic in through that. 
and that's just so it's got a little bit of extra goodness for it for the roots so i'll just get around this other side and just do these last five holes here Okay, so once again, flat bit at the bottom, and I'm going to push these as far down in there, so that they're roughly the same depth as the other ones. So I don't want to force them in too much that you damage the basal plate at the bottom there. I mean, so some of these clothes are a bit smaller than I'd like, but uh, it's all home saved from last year, so it hasn't cost me anything. So even if I get a slight return on these, then I'll be happy. But I'm also hoping to find out which is the best way to grow the garlic. I mean, I shouldn't be really be digging because I'm no dig, but. If it works out better that way, then I don't mind doing it. But hopefully that won't be the best way. I'm thinking this will be the best way in the soil, maybe. Well, you never know. But uh, last year, the best thing was definitely in that container. Uh, so yeah, there's probably about 75 litres of compost in there. Uh, so that's probably why it did so well. All right, so that's got almost all the two rows in. We'll do this one now as well. The last one's here for the flavour of the soft neck into the dug portion of the bed. Oh, hang on, that one went in slightly upside down. Right, so just four more of these soft necks to do them. And then what I'll do, so I don't bore you all, I will do the hard neck and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to rake it all over. Right, that's all that done then. I'll just get the hard neck in. Okay, so that's got all the garlic in the holes. I've laid six hard neck and six soft neck in here. So I'm just going to put them in as well. I don't need to do any holes for these because these are that's in soft compost. Just push them in quite nice and deep. This compost is probably going to settle down. But uh, yeah, if you haven't got much space, doing composting containers like this is probably your best bet because, well, last year, like I say, this is what grew my best garlic in here. So it's worth a go. And what you should be doing is labelling it as well <laughs> and the date of when you did it. I'm, I'm not going to do it because I'm videoing it. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to rake this over. Uh, I'm going to fill that bag up. Uh, two more times because that's just had one bag on it. So I'm going to put one bag on this bit here and one bag on that bit there and uh, call it a day for now. That'll be it. Um, but what I will do is I will come back to net this because we get the allium leaf miner as well. So they're not about at this time of year. It's too cold. They normally come around in sort of early, well, February, late February, early March, something like that. Anyway, let's get this covered over, raked up and out, and I'll get some more compost on. And uh, yeah, I'll put it on a time lapse for you. Okay, so that's all the garlic in for this year. I mean, I've got some left over, so I could do some pots and some home actually, thinking about it. But uh, yeah, I've got quite a bit in there today. So who thinks is going to be, well, which one's going to be the best? Is it going to be the container grown? or the dug, the no dig, 
with a little bit of compost under them and dibbed with no compost. It's going to be interesting. But like I say, I'm doing it this way because I keep getting onion white rot and uh, just want to see which is the best way to try and avoid it for um, drainage and stuff like that. And look at that little red wiggle going. So yeah, thanks for joining me today. And if you've got any questions or anything, or like I say, if you want to have a guess, see which one you think is going to do the best, um, then pop it in the comments. But thank you very much for watching. And uh, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe or something if you like. And uh, yeah, have a good week. Good luck if you're growing garlic too.